بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Now the next thing what we'll do is we'll try to uh, see the same setup of our topology which we have been using inside the GNS3 okay so inside the GNS3 the first thing we need to make sure that we have that firewall image uploaded in our case the Palo Alto firewall which we are using we need to upload that and we assume you already know how to uh, use the routers router images also is something we can do it like if you are doing the routers uh, then we need to go to the preferences and from here you have to upload the iOS file i think you can run this on the local computer and you can just upload the image whatever the image you can just upload this file that is to the routers uh, assume you know the routers already i have the router images which i'll be using and if you want to do the same thing with the uh, uh, firewalls the palo alto firewall in my case let's see how to do that so what i'll do is i'll try to take the new topology and this is going to be my Palo Alto Firewall Lab, which I'm going to save it somewhere. I think I already have the topology, but it's fine. I'm going to save this topology here. Okay, that's a blank topology. Okay. Now the prerequisites again. First, we'll try to see the prerequisites. So the prerequisite part, I assume you already have the GNS3 installed the normal installation process that's the first thing and in the back end you also have the GNS3 VM integrated now the GNS3 VM integration if you check the uh, playlist of the GNS3 you need to make sure that you have the GNS3 VM running if it is running on the local machine like if I'm running this in my local computer with a VMware workstation like I'm going to show you here because it's not going to work on my local so I'm not using this Okay, I'm not using this. Okay, so this is not going working. So this is one option. If you are running on the local machine, then you can set the RAM like the RAM for this VM. The more you set the RAM, the more it will be good. So I'm not using this. I'm going to run the remote server. So my uh, VM is running on the remote server, and you can see this is my remote server where I have this on my remote server actually here. This is my v VMware ESXi on my server and it is using the IP address of 192.168.15.179 on port number 80. You have to set up this because if you don't have the VM running, you're not going to run. So at the end, we should see this server green symbol on the right side, which indicates that the VM is running. Okay, So you must have this VM integration either on the local machine or on the remote server. So I, I generally use everything on the remote server to minimize my resources on the local machine. And that is a prerequisite setup. And once we have this already, the third thing I expect you to upload the IWS images for routers, which we are simulating on the other side. And the fourth part is we will be setting up the Palo Alto image. So in my case, the Palo Alto image we have to set up we didn't do this i think so we'll try to go and do that now before you set up this we need to go back and download the palo alto gns3 appliance file just search for that there is a pavm file which we have to download and download this uh, palo alto vm file it automatically goes to the download section and i can go back to my gns3 i simply go to the file and there is an option called import appliance. So I click on import appliance and you have to select this. Just now we downloaded the file, appliance file, select that image. Okay, that's not actually the image. It's an appliance file, which will guide you with the setup of the image. So now we are installing the Palo Alto uh, firewall image inside my GNS3. And as you can see, it is running on the remote server, not on the VM. Because if you're running on the VM, local VM, you'll see the second option. Again, it doesn't run on the local computer. So the third option will not come up. As you can see, the other two options are grayed out because of uh, I don't have that setup. So you can have multiple servers. That's a different thing. So click on next, click on next. And the next thing you need to upload the image. 
So the version, whatever you're running, if you have the same uh, version, you can run. Or in my case, as you can see, this is the Palo Alto 9.0.4 version. So if you have a new version, you can just say uh, version name and click OK. Create a new version always because uh, most of the time the existing versions may not be compatible. So we create and we need to upload the image from here. So import uh, wherever you have the image and the image you can find it on the Google Drive, which I've already shared. So I'm going to use this image. This is the location where I downloaded the image from the drive link, which I've shared. So I need to select this image. This is the image. It's around a three GB file. I think it takes some time to upload. And once it finishes the upload, it confirms that your GNS3 VM, which is running uh, remotely, is having that image now, which will allow me to add the Palo Alto firewall to simulate the labs. Okay, so let's wait for this to set up. And the same process goes on with any device, any other firewall, if you are implementing like Palo Alto or uh, even the uh, Firepower FMC, FTD, Cisco Firepower devices or ASA firewall or any images, most of the advanced images like XRV or SD-WAN images, you know, for every for every uh, device, the same process goes on. You need to download the appliance image, search for that. Like, let's say if you are doing the same thing with a FortiGate firewall, then you just need to search for the same thing. The same process goes on, okay? You just need to download this FortiGate appliance file. The same thing goes on with uh, the other other vendors as well okay so at this point our focus is more on the palo alto image and we assume that it should be working so let's wait for this to finish up the loading process and just to confirm we can start the device and we can see the cli that's something what i'll also do before i move on because sometimes what will happen is the images uh, even though it uploads successfully but you never go to the CLI, that can be a problem. Okay, so let's wait for a few more seconds here for this to finish up the process. Now, as you can see, we are almost done. Now this image will be inside the VM. So anytime you use the same VM, you can, you can get this image. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, while uploading it generally utilizes more CPU resources. Now, now you need to select this and click on next. And you can see it will tell you that you want to install this device. Yes, I want to do it and finish. And once you see this Palo Alto image, when you click on this button, you will be able to see this uh, Palo Alto image and you can simply drag and drop this, right click and start and right click and console. And you will be able to uh, see the CLI as well. So most likely if everything goes well, the booting process, and if you see the prompt, it basically Uh, loads up here. You can see it, it is booting up. So I should see the command line. That's what expected here. So we just need to give some time for this to initial boot up. The initial booting up process will take time depending upon the default, depending upon the processing capabilities, roughly five to 10 minutes. And once it comes up, it will ask you the prompt, the default login that is admin and admin, you know, we can we can log in with that. That is like confirmation that your image is uh, working fine. Now we can just go ahead and elaborate this uh, probably and set up the topology as required. 